This video is now in session and it's time to have a discussion on vaccines. And that's because uh, we are soon going to run uh, out of demand for inoculations for people who want to get the vaccine in the United States. And that's a problem. Um, as of near late April, we have close to half of Americans who have gotten the first shot. And then we've also had 26% of Americans who were fully vaccinated and protected against SARS-CoV-2. <clears throat> So, um, as a result, it seems like the United States is doing a great job, right? But uh, we are going to come into a pretty bad impasse, which is vaccine hesitancy. Those who are afraid of getting the vaccines are those who do not want, the, and want to get the vaccines. And that's a really, really big problem for, um, for the United States because a lot of the people who don't want to get vaccines, uh, the vaccine, or who are hesitant about it, um, are more likely to be both white evangelical, uh, white evangelical voters, and as well as Trump voters. Now, um, uh, unfortunately, vaccines have become another politicized issue, which it really should be. It shouldn't be. It's um, incredibly inept as to how we can make literally everything politicized, but. This is going to be an incredibly huge problem for the United States if we want to have the United States protected against COVID-19. And if we want to go back to work, if we want to do what we want, have, as Republicans say, our freedoms back where we can ha exercise our First Amendment right uh, without having a mask. And taking a vaccine is important to get to that goal. So... um. So this video is going to be mainly for those who might not want to get the vaccine and those who might get uh, those who got the vaccine, those who wish to have other people vaccinated, those literally everyone. OK, uh, I'll, I'll I'll structure this video and I think I might put in chapters for this video. But let's first start with those who are inoculated. So congrats for getting vaccinated. Oh, yeah. Um, If you're not in this group. Uh, of inoculated individuals, just go into the description alone, uh, below, and I'll have the timestamps where um, you can either listen to me or not. Uh, but please, even, especially if you are a vaccine, um, uh, if you don't think vaccines work, or if you don't want to get the vaccines, please watch this video, because um, I do have th some thoughts about that. So first, uh, those who are vaccinated, congrats. Um, <clears throat> You're helping Americans by being vaccinated and you're helping the world because um, what you're doing is you're protecting yourself and other people from contracting uh, the virus SARS-CoV-2. So um, congrats. I mean, there's not much I can say besides uh, we're getting on our way back to normal. Um, but uh, but if you do know anyone who is who is hesitant about getting the vaccine, then um, please speak to them, reach out to them, because it's important that all of us get vaccinated. And it's not like a government thing. It's not a uh, thing where the uh, where uh, Bill Gates is trying to insert some like uh, some technology into us. It's uh, it's literally a breakthrough in medicine where it helps us actually um, get ourselves treated and it also benefits us. So please reach out to other people who might not want to get vaccines. And for a lot of people, um, they might not get vaccines, not because they're hesitant or because they don't want to get the vaccine, but rather they might be, for lack of better words, a little bit lazy to get a vaccine or they need to get pushed. Um, I mean, I understand why, because getting a vaccine appointment is pretty burdensome. You have have to go to uh, like one of those major pharma uh, pharmacy areas or go onto state websites and you have to keep clicking refresh in order to get the vaccines but you know i got um i i know people who are vaccinated in my family and i help them get vaccinated so ultimately it's it's a good thing to, uh, to help others because by helping others it will both help you and the and it will make a small contribution to the world. Now, over to those who are uh, hesitant about getting the vaccine. So I'm going to first uh, structure this into two parts, those who might not 
those who need help getting a vaccine and those who have questions about getting a vaccine. So those who need help getting a vaccine, uh, you can use CVS, you can use Vite Aid. Um, if you are in the Northeast like I am, you can use Wegmans, you can use, I believe Costco has vaccination centers. And you can also use, uh, in some states, uh, their own website, government websites, in order to schedule appointments. So to do this, you would just go to CVS. And in fact, actually, I can go through the process with you. Uh, ignore this factor 10. Okay, so this is the CVS website, cvs.com slash immunization slash COVID-19 dash vaccine. So I'm going to just go to Pennsylvania, and then we can schedule an appointment. Um, and from here, you would just say, uh, I'm not actually going to schedule an appointment, but... Um, <clears throat> just uh, fill out this quick survey and then if you need to start vaccinations uh, and then Pennsylvania um, they have Philadelphia or they have other because Philadelphia has their own rules I'm going to just say that I am 20 years old even though I am not um, and then from here you keep going going and you can type your zip code or your city and state but the smarter thing to do is actually to type your state because you can get more results out here. And you can see that there are some appointment dates and then you look at um, available times. This is for Sunday, April 25th. You click on that and that's the Pfizer 2 dose. So usually you would be able to get a second appointment uh, scheduled immediately right after. So right here, I can see it here. Now I'll just cl uh, click 1215. You continue to schedule and then here you just do your uh, first last name. You fill out your information. See CVS will probably not sell you information, at least I don't think so. And from there, you are um, scheduled, and that's it's as easy as that. Now, for other for other websites, it may uh, work a little bit differently, but based on my experiences, CVS is the easiest website to use besides uh, states that um, or sites that are run by the government, so like uh, New Jersey's vaccination site or um, or like mega sites like in Kentucky. So, um, th th so that's how you get vaccinated. I'll put the link in the description for CVS's vaccines. Uh, and then those who are vaccine hesitant, who have questions about how the vaccine works, and who also have uh, fears about what happened with the news with Johnson & Johnson, as well as AstraZeneca with its, uh, with its vaccines producing blood clots. So um, how do vaccines work? Well, I'm going to go through the process of the Johnson & Johnson vaccines. Pfizer um, and Moderna work a little bit differently, but they ultimately achieve the same goal of making you immune from the virus. So for Johnson & Johnson, when you get the vaccine uh, inocul inoculated into um, into your body, what it basically does is it goes to a cell. Um, so that vaccine is like a dead or inactive, uh, inactivated version of the actual virus. So it won't be able to do any harm to you, in, uh, or it won't be able to um, have you contract COVID-19. So you're not going to get COVID-19 from the virus. So once it enters in your body, it goes to a cell, and it... Um, and basically, the cell sees this kind of foreign thing, and your cell tries to attack it. And it's easily able to do that, relatively easily, because it's a dead cell. It's a, I mean, it's a dead uh, virus or an inactivated virus. So it's unable to do any damage to yourself besides a few side effects, which I will cover soon. So once uh, your cell... Once your cell, a cell sees the virus, it then attacks it and it kills it. But once it kills it, what it does is, uh, just like for any, uh, uh, any kind of foreign, um, foreign kind of thing, what it does is it has memory T cells and memory B cells. Now these cells remember, uh, what the virus looked like and more specifically the spike proteins like this, uh, so, um, uh, so like this area. And, uh, from there, um, the uh, the memory cells know about the spike proteins and in the future when an actual virus hits you and get, uh, gets into your body then what happens is that the memory cells recognize that cell from earlier on and then they activate their immune response so what they do is they trap the uh, the um virus by uh, blocking its spike proteins where it uh, where it inserts its DNA into the cells and destroys cells. So it doesn't do that because of those memory cells and from their white blood cells help uh, defeat the virus and kill it. So th that's how you are protected. This is a centuries old technology that 
Even though it's old, it has been working for so long, and it's been very reliable. Now, what about fears about the COVID about getting、uh, blood clots? That is a possibility, and it's something that should be noted.、Um, but the chances of that of getting a very、um, damaging blood clot that could that damages your health、uh, and your welfare is very very rare.、Um, now, obviously, you can still get it, but ultimately, it's like the same、uh, the same chances as being struck by lightning. It's not really a large chance, and you're more likely to get struck by lightning. Rather than to actually get those harmful blood clots. Now, if you do get those blood clots, there's a reason why there are some places like CVS who make you wait up to 30 minutes after you get the injection just to see if you develop side effects or not. And if you do, then you can then they will easily assist you and、uh, get you the right treatment in order to. Um, in order to recover from that, and you'll still be protected against the virus. So in the future, when you do actually get the virus, instead of having to go to the hospital and potentially being on a ventilator, you instead just get at best, at, or not at best, but at most,、uh, a fever. Because、um, even though the efficacy for mild symptoms of COVID nineteen differ among vaccines, all vaccines are one hundred percent effective against、uh, severe cases. Cases of COVID nineteen, so like cases where you have to go to the hospital or、um, you might potentially die. So that those are a hundred percent. And if you have any other questions, then you can DM us on our Instagram and we can start a chat. You can also comment on the YouTube、uh, on this、uh, video below. Now, um, and、uh, for the final group, those who. Are who, those who absolutely do not want the vaccine、um, because of because of concerns of maybe from conspiracy theories,、uh, and this、um, for those who are watching who belong in that group,、um, I just want to I guess like、uh, not I I just want to like say why. Um, you should still get the vaccine, and I'll、um, tell you some of the things that maybe you've been hearing about. So、uh, there have been people who said that the vaccines are run, are because they're run by the government in some part that the government will try to insert some kind of technology into you for surveillance purposes. The government does not have that kind of capability, and if they were to actually get Um, some that kind of technology, there would definitely be a whistleblower to go against uh, to uh, to go against the government because there always has been in Donald Trump's era there was there were many whistleblowers in、uh, the Obama administration you had Edward Snowden so、uh, you would definitely have people calling out on the government、uh, from doing that and reputable sources who call out the government、um, the、uh, the now、uh, how about Bill Gates. Isn't he trying to do something with the vaccines? He has no power over the vaccines. Even though he could help fund the vaccines, he's ultimately not the one developing it. And、um, it's Pfizer, BioNTech,、uh, Moderna, Johnson Johnson. It's these companies who are ultimately the ones who make the vaccines. And there again, there is no way as of now, and probably for the next several,、uh, next few decades. Uh, where technology can be inserted to into the vaccine, so it can surveil you. That is just very hard to do in such a tiny space that is injected into your body. So the、uh, um, there are also other claims that the vaccine is just why do I need a vaccine when it's meant to prevent something in the future? Because maybe I just don't want to take risks with, with risks with that. Well. If you don't want to take risks with that, then you're, or if you do want to take risks with that, then you're taking a very high risk because a lot of people、um, have gotten sick by COVID nineteen and hundreds of thousands have died from it. So ultimately, it's helping you. You,、uh, you are the main papaya. You are the main. Person that's being、uh, that's receiving aid from the vaccine. Now, if you don't want the vaccine, then I don't know what to say except that that、uh, that if you get the virus itself, then it's it's only、uh, it's only your fault for I guess for getting the virus because the vaccine is getting much more readily available and it's safe and the government does、uh, does not have any part in the actual. Um, in the actual development of the vaccine, so. 
please get it. I will make more videos on this because there are definitely a lot more concerns other than what I've just said, but we wanted to keep our videos under 15 minutes. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This video is now adjourned, and I'll see you in the next one.